Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how chat bot or chat widget automation works. So if you're using the Go High Level chat widget or the live chat widget, because there's live chat now available in Go High Level chat. So if you're using any of those in your website or, or on your landing pages, what you can do is you can set up a cool automation that will take care of some stuff if you're not there uh, to reply to their messages instantly. So I'll do a quick workflow to show you how to deal with that so you just need to know how to uh, use that trigger when someone messages in the chat widget uh, then how do you process those and how do you perf uh, perform actions based on that so I'll call it chat widget automation and this is pretty simple so the trigger uh, of these automations happening would be customer replied the customer replied and then here you need to put a filter on saying reply channel is a chat widget and let me see if you want to put any more filters you can put filters on uh, doesn't have tag you know if you want to do any of those uh, you could totally do that but I'm not gonna do any more filters I'm just gonna see if they replied or if they sent a message on the chat widget you know so that's it let's save our trigger now what you can do is you can send a notification now every time they send a message on chat widget you don't want maybe you don't want to receive an email notification so you what you can do is you can if you have the mobile app like the lead connector or the high level mobile app you could just send yourself a notification from here so this notification action will send you a notification to your phone app through your phone app so the title will be as messaged through website chat widget based on where you are using the chat widget hi please see messages from uh, email you could customize it based on how you want it so redirect page will be conversation so if you click on the notification it takes you straight to the conversation uh, that this lead has started by messaging in the chat widget so to user type will be maybe particular user so it will be you depends on who deals with sales or who deals with the regular conversations in the company or in the uh, in the business you know so you could just assign it to all users or you could just um, so if you send a notification to all users whoever responds to it first will be the one talking to it but uh, I mean the best practice is to assign it to a particular user and uh, then what you can do is because you because they've put their phone number already so you can take the conversation to SMS so uh, you could just say hi contact or first name uh, just saw you messaged on our website's uh, chat widget um, messaging you here to see if you needed anything urgently please let me know how I can help so writing this kind of message is a clever way of moving the conversation from the website from the website to SMS inbox or you know text because they won't be on your website for so long but they will have their phones uh, with them so you just send them an SMS but do wait for a minute so it looks that, like you are the one sending SMS you know that's why I'm putting uh, contact or first name not the full name because it I don't want it to sound AI or something uh, yeah, that's pretty much what you can do and because this is a lead and has left his or her detail you can also create an opportunity In the lead pipeline in hot leads That's it so open and This is a pretty cool chat widget automation workflow and uh, I mean this is really basic but most of us are using it for our businesses or I'm, I'm working uh, like with lots of businesses out there and I'm, I'm doing the same for them as well so I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one
Thank you.